Today, I'm going to round up a bunch of information, a bunch of details about Battlefield 5 from the last week or so, since I've not really posted apart from that Firestorm trailer breakdown. And the reason for that, I've had what can only be described as the plague for the last three days. I'm sure you can still hear it now because I'm still dealing with it. I've barely slept. My throat is like sandpaper. My head was pounding the other day, but thankfully I don't have a headache today. But the Battlefield news doesn't stop for any sick man, so therefore I must march onwards and deliver the Battlefield news to the community. I hope you appreciate this video today because honestly, I still feel like death. Okay, let's start with something hopeful. RSP, short for Rental Server Program. This was mentioned by community manager Ben Walk over on Reddit about a week ago now, and it did spark somewhat of a reaction. Apparently, he just had a meeting on rental servers, and that there would be more to come in the future. He didn't use the S word, soon, Dice's favourite word, but we can assume from that comment that is exactly what's going to happen. Now, the community effort that's made themselves heard over the last few weeks, the last few months really, over the lack of rental servers within Battlefield 5 at the moment, that has obviously come to some kind of head here. Because I don't think Ben would describe having a meeting about rental servers if he didn't have anything positive to back it up with. There'd be very little point riling up community members wanting to know about rental servers by confirming something like this and then having nothing to really add to the conversation. The fact that it gets a mention to me is a good thing, but right now we don't have any further details. Moving swiftly onwards before I have the 15th coughing fit of this recording session so far, the updated roadmap coming this week. Once that is posted and is out there publicly, I will be making a full video covering all of it off in as much detail as I can find, but thanks to the most recent episode of Battlefield Weekly hosted by EA Community Manager Adam Freeman, we know that the roadmap will feature more in-depth details on Chapter 3 Trial by Fire, that's starting in just a week or so with the Firestorm game mode, and chapters 4 and 5, so the content coming after Firestorm, and possibly even more as well. It's likely going to cover off several months or so for Battlefield 5, taking us into the summer, past EA Play, hopefully towards the autumn. Now, despite being at DICE just last week in the Stockholm studio, the team, they didn't reveal to me or anyone else that was there the roadmap or any of the content that comes after Firestorm. So I'm in the same position you are, but personally, here's what I'm hoping for from this roadmap. I want some new maps coming to Battlefield 5, preferably three or four in the next few months, and preferably a brand new theatre of war being added, maybe a new faction or two depending on the theatre that those new maps are set in. I'd like to see some updates and additions to the Firestorm game mode as well, new weapons and new vehicles for multiplayer. I'd really like the roadmap to just focus on multiplayer. That is what Battlefield 5 is played for by the majority of the player base. I think that's what everyone is looking at right now, and if DICE is fully focusing on that, then that's great. If I see much around the outsides of multiplayer with split-offs of different types of co-op modes, or heaven forbid, even more single-player, that's kind of not really where I think the community is looking. I think they should be focusing on multiplayer. I believe they will focus on multiplayer, but we'll have to wait for that full reveal of the roadmap. Next up on my list of news, the Dev Talks episodes will be returning. These videos ran during the summer of last year, and they covered off various parts of Battlefield 5's development. They'll be making a comeback over the next few weeks or so and they'll be accompanied by lots of deep dive articles as well. The first of which has already gone live on how weapons are made and animated for Battlefield games. One episode of Dev Talks has already been confirmed to be about Chapter 3, Trial by Fire, and the content that will be coming in that chapter. And in the same episode, the team will be discussing the updated roadmap for the game, going into a little bit more detail about Chapters 4, 5, and maybe a little bit more even after that. 
As for the deep dive article, which I've linked down below in the description for you, I read the entire thing and it basically redefines what it means to deep dive on a topic. The level of detail and the areas explored along the way, they give you a much greater understanding of just how one part of a video game is made. And of course we know there are hundreds if not thousands of other parts that go into AAA titles these days. And it also puts into perspective the amount of man hours it takes to just make something work correctly. Next, we've got a couple of smaller mentions pertaining to the UI and the HUD interaction in the game. A recent addition by JJJU over at Dice LA will soon allow you to toggle between a hold or a press function for the man down screen. Currently, you've got to hold the button to either hold on or bleed out, but soon an option will be added to the options menu that you can turn that into a hold or a click if you want to. And on top of that, Florian, aka Drunksy, confirmed on Twitter the other day that the camera shake slider last seen in Battlefield 1, that's going to return to Battlefield 5 after calls from the community to see it re-implemented. I'm a huge fan of anything that helps remove some of that added visual fluff that Battlefield games have, and so having a slider to turn down the camera shake, that will see me set it as low as it can possibly go. No dates on these additions coming to the game just yet, they're likely a couple of patches out, but it's nice to know they are on the way. The premium currency, Battlefield currency, or more commonly known as Boins now, is likely going to be launching very soon. It was delayed from its original launch date, which was sometime in January, because at the time DICE were struggling to fix their other in-game currency, Company Coin, and the way it was awarded to players. Now that's all sorted, and the launch of Firestorm is coming just next week, I wouldn't be surprised to see DICE activate Boins around the same time so that players can use some real-world money if they want to, to buy some cosmetic items for their soldiers. Considering Firestorm just mashes up factions and doesn't have any care if you're dropping down with a German soldier and an allied soldier side by side, we can assume that some of the cosmetic additions will be quite striking. And whilst we're on the topic of Firestorm, we might as well talk about the fact that we're getting another trailer this week as well. We're getting a Firestorm gameplay walkthrough trailer. Last week, what was released was a cinematic trailer, and in my opinion, it is the best trailer released so far for Battlefield 5. It just had that sandbox feeling to it, which I think is massively missing from standard Battlefield 5 multiplayer at the moment. I'm not sure which day this new gameplay trailer is dropping, but it will arrive at some point this week. Also, it is worth remembering that myself and various other content creators will be releasing Firestorm gameplay later this week. That will give you a proper first look at the game mode. I've got some good clips that I'm going to show you in full whilst I talk about some of my first impressions, but I did only get about one and a half hours worth of playtime with the mode, and all of my thoughts will just be based on that, and I'll be reserving my full judgement until the mode comes out in the main game on the 25th of March. I've got some good stuff to show you, I've got some good stuff to talk about, but in general it should definitely be taken as a first impression. It wasn't recorded in a live environment, we were playing on servers that were just spun up out of nowhere, so really it's not indicative of the live environment and therefore that's why I'm reserving my judgement until the 25th. That's when Criterion's work is going to be laid bare for everyone to see and critique at the same time. So then, lots of things happening for Battlefield 5 over the next couple of weeks or so. I really see Chapter 3 as DICE's chance to properly relaunch Battlefield 5 for the community. This is where I think the game should have been at launch in November, but as it was pushed out quickly for the holiday season, I think it suffered quite badly. I think we're at a point now where DICE can really push forward with proper content, and Chapter 3 is that starting point. Thank God. I made it through the video without my voice totally dying, although you can hear it dying at certain points during my speech, and it's even trying to die now, so I'm just going to end the video. Thank you very much for watching today. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.